This is take. Slack smack each other. What? Okay. <laughs> so you just said smack each other. <laughs> you just said smack each other. <laughs> so audible. That was so audible. I didn't really mean to go that hard, but like, oh my god. Do I have a red mark? <laughs> it's something redder than your other side. Show it to me again. <laughs> Show the other side. Are you ready for the next? I okay. Let's start. Let's fucking start. I just you said let's start the episode. I was trying to get jacked you up. You said, said slap me. Slap. I slapped you, and, and you I, I was I was joking around. <laughs> well, let's say that. Well, then say <laughs> nobody's let's ever say. had less hesitation to smack somebody in the face, and you just smacked me but in the face. But then if you throw in the JK quicker, then <laughs> <laughs> you said you say you say slap me. Just kidding. That's a joke. Yeah, and but next, nobody's ever like joke. whenever somebody said, "Hey, let's like smack each other in the face." Like everybody's <laughs> always, it's always a joke. It's always somebody's always kidding around. Okay, okay. Let's Sorry, start the know, episode. I wasn't in and on. Now the we're being dead serious. Okay, okay. They went to Amsterdam. We're here. Yep. Yes. And we have started this <laughs> podcast off like seven times now. You want to go? No, you go. I go. You want to go? You want me to start it off? I'll start it off. Or you, you start? No, no, you. Start I started it off. off. You follow. You say something after I start it off. Okay. Okay. Got it. I'll go. We're gonna start right now. All right. Yep. The parents are away. We're we have to. We're gonna delete all the evidence of the other one. Yeah. Jackie said the N word. No, like, I did. Stop. Try <laughs> so say, many times. I said in the, the N word. So it's. I have never said the N word. I don't say. You would have gotten Casey Radio canceled. Ten years of greatness just mm. down the drain because one Jackie solo. That pod. should be our goal. Is that is, we we try and get the pod, the one time that they trust us yeah. to the podcast we get it canceled. Exactly. That's the goal for today. Is try to get Casey Radio canceled. Okay. What do you think about black people? <laughs> <laughs> What do you think about Asian people? Okay. Love them. <laughs> Love them? Well, I guess, are we trying to get them canceled? <laughs> no, <we're laughs> I have to take that part okay. out. No, that's staying in. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> let's continue. Let's, okay. keep this, let's keep this moving. Okay. They went to Amsterdam. They did not invite us. They didn't invite us, but I like I knew all along. You seemed to think that we were going to get the invite. I knew all along yeah. that we weren't going to get the invite. Yesterday morning, I was pretty certain that there was going to be like a late night. Like, hey, you guys... By, might be surprised by this, but yeah. we got you tickets but too. You, like, pack your bags. Who wasn't even invited to the Super Bowl. Thought you were gonna get invited <laughs> the, to that's still, that's still up for debate whether I'm going to the Super Bowl or no, not. That's for not. Sure. That's not. Somebody else. All right, think. I'm gonna go on vacation <laughs> Super Bowl week. Where Don't even go, think about. Where are you gonna go on clips. vacation? Probably. I've really been wanting to go to uh, Faroe Islands. Have you heard of that place? No. It's. Uh, <gasps> Wait, I do have some. It's right off the coast of Denmark. Okay. It's like I think it's considered one of the most expensive places to like visit as a tourist, but it's just like waterfalls and cliffs and shit like that. I really like that stuff. I think it would be fun. You like waterfalls and cliffs and shit? Waterfalls and cliffs, yeah. Things you can jump off of. When have you ever jumped off a waterfall or a cliff? (laughs) Not yet. (laughs) (laughs) Slap me in the face one more time, I might consider it. (laughs) Um, um, When are you going to go? When we're in the Super Bowl? When you guys are in the Super Bowl. No, but we need somebody back here. We need Clip Boy I'm to be doing this Clip get Boy Get an things. intern. Get an intern. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I bet. I'll probably The second that Nick asked you to do something, you'd be like, okay. I'll <laughs> <laughs> Scurry on over my desk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. I want to start out. Pavs and I both said that we're not feeling podcasty today. I've never felt less podcasty than the one day that you we're You catch us to yesterday? Oh podcast-y. my God. We were fucking riffing yesterday, kid. We were going back and forth. I know, but today. But today, I'm so out of it. It's because I took two, I took 20 milligrams of melatonin last night. Yeah, you guys. I don't know. I've been on a melatonin kick ever since John and Kevin started talking about it. I was like, let me try this shit out. And it's addicting. You never tried it out before? I never tried it out before, and now I'm addicted. Um, I'm kind of surprised that it's like. Like weed is this thing that's not legal, but like melatonin. melatonin if you yeah. drive on melatonin, that's twenty times <laughs> Way worse than driving high. Mm-hmm. Actually, if you drive off Nyquil, that is illegal. Oh, you can't. Well, what I, is melatonin? Melatonin. I, I'm sure that they have similar ingredients, but I'm sure Nyquil has like whatever melatonin has in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm yeah. I'm ninety percent sure. One time. A, a cop told me that if you drive off uh, NyQuil, you will be arrested. For some reason, whenever I take melatonin, I'm a bitch the next day. I snap at everybody. You're a bitch? Yeah. A bitch. I don't know why. So you take melatonin it. a lot? <laughs> 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 I set you up for that. That was you did, good. <laughs> you did. Where's your uh, striped pajama shirt? 
<laughs> I took it off because I got. I got. <laughs> don't pull it out. Jackie walked in with this this morning. For those listening, it is a blue striped shirt that has fabric of a pajama. And I mean, she couldn't even get four steps in the door before I was like, oh, the girl in the striped pajama. <laughs> Um, yeah, what did I wear yesterday? Then yesterday I wore, like, something camo, and he was like, where? I started talking, and you're like, where are you? <laughs> the, a classic. A classic. I'm getting, I I'm became this a This is dad. why I don't ever, like, wear anything other than sweatshirts. Yeah, this is why you wear all black every day, because of stage crew. Back to uh, them being in Amsterdam. Who's going to fuck a hooker? I don't know. I don't think that any of them actually yeah, have the balls. So like, they're so they soft. They're so None of them got it in them. I don't think for a they shot. Wish, but, but if yeah, me and you were there, we'd be fucking hookers for Left sure. and right. They would be fucking us. No. That's, like, <laughs> that's not cool. Would you, fuck, uh, would you fuck a female hooker? No. No? Because just if, like, if I were to fuck about, you, a female, it yeah. would be a hooker. It wouldn't be a hooker? It would be just like some other hot. But well, like, not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's like I'm not going to pay... For you something that whenever. I'm not really interested, interested in, in but in that the would be like a place. test, like something to test. That it would out. be something to test out. That's true. But because again, like who 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 are you gonna have sex with here? That's a woman. Like one of your friends? Somebody? No, not one of my friends, but yeah. somebody hot in New York. Yeah, but then you might have a chance you run into them again. I don't know. Like you want to yeah. like if you want to have this experience, you go do it somewhere else. No one ever knows about it. If you just wanted to try it, it's also not embarrassing. I was gonna say I feel yeah. like if anything would just make me. It would raise my yeah my cool. I don't know if I'm allowed to. Say, are you offended by that, Zach? Yeah. Raise my coolness. Is that cultural appropriation? If if I fuck I a girl, everyone's gonna know about it. I'm not gonna shut the fuck up about it for for years. You're right. You're, You're right. right. Yeah. Exactly. If I fuck a guy, no one's gonna hear about that. <laughs> but, but no one ever like, did. No one ever did. It sounds like you. Yeah. It sounds like you've thought about that before. No. So would you fuck a guy hooker? No. Have you fucked a guy? <laughs> Stop. Next Have topic. You and Zach next fuck. <laughs> next topic. Next topic. All right. Bottom line. Bottom line is that. None of them are probably fucking hookers. None of them are probably fucking hookers. Yeah. All of them are probably doing drugs. Yeah, they're probably doing a lot I of drugs. I think, except when I was in Amsterdam, Yeah. the weed, I normally, like, weed makes me so anxious. The weed was the most lovely experience. Really? That, I guess that, that whole sentence made me sound like I've never smoked weed before. But I remember, oh, what was I bopping to? It was Drake um, Passion Fruit. Yeah. And it was playing in the background, and I felt it mm. in my bones. Like, my bones... We're dancing to the song. I've had a similar experience Wait. to Passion Fruit. I love Passion Fruit. I it's love a great it. Great song. You smoke a little bit of weed. You yeah. smoke a little bit of Amsterdam weed. Yeah. Passion Wait. Fruit. Passion Fruit. Turn on Passion Fruit. Game over. Game over. Okay, ignore how I look because last time, last time I made one of these like little like pop in, um, side note producer side notes. You guys were all so mean about the way I looked. So nobody, nobody fucking commented about the way I look. I know I look grosser now. This next part's gonna be like a jump cut. Um. Because, like, we switched out producers, and so we had to, like, stop recording and then restart. So we jump in at, like, Pavs and I are basically talking about, like, saying that everybody who knows we were going to do the, po- po- the podcast, take your expectations, and then lower them, like, a fuck ton. Um, so just, hey, sorry, it's kind of jumpy. This whole edit is kind of a shit show, but... Um, yeah, that's where, that's where we're jumping in. Okay, bye. If we don't, everybody, take your expectations, lower them. To the, to the fucking to floor. To the fucking floor, because you're used to listening. Some, some, you know they used to think that tenure was tenure? Like, anytime somebody did something. You felt like a tenure ten, was tenure? I thought tenure. it was like a tenure. To have a tenure tenure. Tenure tenure. Yeah. Anyways. They have a tenure tenure But you're podcasting. listening to some tenured. You're, you're, you're listening to Rookies. To right rookie, now. To rookies. But you're used, used to, to tenure, tenure, ten, tenure, tenures. Tenure, tenures. Exactly. Nice. Nicely done. Ripping, ripping. You yeah. guys are on fire. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. This is why we need a J. I like This Jake. is all we need. Yeah. Well, I always come in here and like I hear you guys cutting up or like cut. You guys are doing a podcast. I'm doing a podcast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're always riffing. We're yeah. always riffing. We- yes, exactly. Mm. And Jake, have you like been on, like are you on foreplay? No. So like, I, like occasionally like I'll chime in, but I don't really produce it anymore. Alex Bush does. But back in the day where they would just make fun of me and make fun of me for being an Alabama mm-hmm. fan and stuff like that. Yeah, You're used to that, out. right, Jackie? Just getting made fun of just in the background. Fun of, yeah. yeah, but you like... It's going to push us to the edge one day. Yeah, but you kind of like deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> I no longer like having Jake as a producer. <laughs> no, I mean, you say some like outrageous <laughs> shit. No, I do say some outrageous <laughs> shit. And that is so not on purpose. I just literally word vomit. But you, I mean... 
Like when you were saying the N word earlier. Stop. <laughs> Dude, I heard that too. It was you crazy. Heard that the cold control room, yeah. right? Too. <laughs> Fuck yeah, off. Whatever. All right. Next topic. Do you have anything, Jackie? Jake. Jockey. <sighs> Jockey. What do I have? Um, Dude, I'm ter. You know what? I'll talk about this because I don't think people like know the K- the KFC Radio Studio is the single most intimidating place of Arsenal Sports. It Everybody is, says yeah. that when they walk in. It's like, really not though. Because Kevin and John are both very nice guys. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. I've never hung out with them or anything, but they're you see them in the office, like, oh hey, what's going on? Like, yeah, yeah. whatever. They're very nice guys. But when you walk in here, because they always have the lights off, so it looks like they're recording. Yeah. And then like they're just sitting here, and it's very very. And I just want to come in and talk to you guys, or I have a question for Nick. Yeah. yeah. And it's just very scary. It's funny because every single person who walks in, they like will slowly creep mm. up in the door. I kind of like it. I know. I, I know. Like and then it. and then everybody who comes in goes like, oh god, it's just so scary. You never know if you guys are recording. Every but single person. Jake, you were one of the people who. We're, I feel like we're all we're delighted to have you in every time. Yeah. You, we're delighted to have everybody in. Yes, same. but like I feel like when I feel like Jake, you're so far past ever having to ask. Like yeah. are you guys recording. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, I feel like it's yeah. Like, but if you guys are recording, all, the last thing I need to do is, is walk in yeah. and like walk, like fuck up the flow. This is gonna screw I've never seen. Yeah, that. I've never seen that happen. So at you all. would have done that with the prostitute in Amsterdam. That exact. Oh, you were talking about. Yeah. You know, you gotta slide <laughs> yeah. the condom on. <laughs> I was trying to. Are you talking about um? foreskin oh yeah they? because they're all like not snipped oh, yeah. wait are they not snipped? it's a yeah, european thing european. right yeah hmm. is that is that a modern day thing now i, I always think europe i think i think that generally europeans next are to short guys circumcised uncircumcised guys have the most slander i feel so bad like they have the most slander. smegma right? what smegma smegma isn't smegma. that like the the dick cheese that's inside of a <laughs> that's i didn't i've never even thought about dick cheese and now that i do i get why <laughs> girls turn lesbian Te- yeah, exactly. like, like, i yeah. get it <laughs> yeah i mean but i'm pretty sure smegma is like the dick a, a sub- sebaceous secretion in the folds of the skin especially under a man's foreskin oh. so like, you know like when sometimes like you come mm-hmm. and you're just like chilling after and there's like a little dribble gets on your leg and you just kind of rub it in like it's old glue of course um sure. <laughs> <laughs> imagine that just like stays in the foreskin oh my god yeah. so like that's smegma and it's kind of how like milk curdles yeah yeah or how you the similarities between milk and calm are there's a lot of them color what happens to them after a couple hours? Yeah. Smell. Yeah, I mean that's it. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's a lot to happen. Was that your I always used to think about like back in the day when like you'd have a wet dream and you have yeah. to hide it from your mom. And she, uh, it, I never have had a wet dream. What? I'm kind of jealous. Do what girls have wet dreams? I so I don't like nothing. Like you ever it's just wake like up like a oh. literal wet dream, but I'll have an <laughs> orgasm in my dream, but it's not like I'm actually. You've had like, an orgasm in coming. your dream? Dude, like, when he was like a wet. fucking kid, I was dude, I'd wake up in puddles. Dude, I don't know. Maybe Rudy I have low tea. I Maybe I, I have low tea. Up. I don't know. Um You've never had one? I've never had one. I've I've had sex with a girl in my dream before, but like I've never gotten anywhere. Dude, the worst what? is one time in college, we I might have, have to cut this. Yeah. I was in college and I was like hooking up with this girl. Didn't finish because I was drunk and I went to sleep and I woke up and had a wet dream in her bed. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, crazy. now you're going to fucking work? No, it was more so you like- You did this. No, it was more so like, like I was going to leave her apartment. There was just going to be a puddle of dried cum in her sheets. Wow. Oh my God. Yeah. What'd like- you do? I just- You just did? I just told her. Oh, you just told her. Yeah. I was just like, yeah, sorry. Uh, One time you- a girl had a period in my college dorm while she was sleeping. I woke up like it was a fucking scene from The Godfather, just blood everywhere. <laughs> And yeah. then she just left without saying anything. That's the thing is sometimes like guys <laughs> when you're like guys are sometimes like if you're like I'm on my period, they're like, No, like it's fine. Like I don't care. Like I'm fine with the little blood and you're like, No, you don't understand how much blood like maybe you've had sex with a girl who's spotting. Yeah. When you <laughs> are like fully on your period, it's not something that like it's godfather level. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's not something that like I don't know. Hey guys guess... are expecting it all. So if you're on YouTube, yeah. I've never cut cameras no, before. No, no. No. So it sounds it might like be. you never cut <laughs> cameras no. before? No, because with foreplay, it's like back in the day we didn't do YouTube podcasts, and by the no. time we started doing YouTube podcasts, we were fully zoomed because Riggs was in Scottsdale, Trent was like in in Iowa during COVID. Okay, got so it. So it was always just like a full thing. Yeah. What is your title? Uh, senior producer. <laughs> Same. I wish. Yeah. <laughs> Senior <laughs> producer, uh, four play podcast. Been four and a half years of Barstool Sports. Damn. Well, technically like five and a half plus, almost six, because I was in Indianapolis with Pat McAfee before oh. he quit. 
Mm. But like I, I wasn't like full time. I was like an intern, kind of whatever. Ask you to go along with him? Uh, no. It was like we like I was Pat was awesome. Like it was a great time out there. But mm-hmm. I think like everyone there kind of knew like I just didn't really fit into the mold. Like I'm I, like, I live with Evan Fox and Zeno yeah. and all those guys. But like when the move happened, like Pat was like I said, you open an interview with Dave. So it was like very yeah. it was he was very cool about like like when he quit like. Dave came down and like interviewed Jordan Berry, Vibs, Booze, me, and uh, Sean Latham at the time. Oh, damn. So, like, yeah. So, it was, like, your intern class or whatever. Like, yeah. Well, class, like, Sean was already full-time class. content. Yeah. It was, yeah. like, Booze, who's still here, and Jordan Berry, who's mm. on the talent team. Yeah. Okay, got it. Got yeah. it. Got it. How did you, like, get to Barstool? I don't really know your story. Me? Yeah. I've talked about that. Well, I actually I haven't talked. the. I know you did the DMs, and then they just, like, said, the DMs. like, yeah. Yeah, I've, I actually talked about this before you were, like, on the podcast. I... I actually, I don't think I've ever talked about how I got interested in the podcast in the first place. And it well, was yeah. actually, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> Continue. Should I say it? Say I mean, it. it's not bad. It was yeah. during the scandal. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's, I feel. That's and normal. my like sister had listened. She was yeah. like telling me like about the, um, juicy the, drama, the juicy drama. And yeah. I was like curious cause it was fight like the podcast for fights was, yeah, it was a solo one and he was like explaining. So then I listened and I was like, it's actually kind of cute, like, that he's, like, supporting his boy, like, through yeah, all this. Yeah, yeah. And I wasn't the one where Kevin was back. And I was like, well, they're actually pretty funny. Yeah. And I don't know. But, um. <laughs> you, were, you were a super fan. What? You were no, a no I wasn't fan. a super fan. But then I listened. Yeah. But then it got to the point where I was, like, listening was, like, a comfort podcast for me. So then, yeah, then like, during the pandemic, I was just, like. I remember it just occurring to me one point time. I was like, wait, why don't I just like try and apply? Mm. And I DM'd and I DM'd and I just DM'd the right person. Mm. It was BC at the time, Super yeah. BC. By the time they were just looking for an intern, mm-hmm. he told me to intern. I emailed Nick, sent in my resume, mm-hmm. only one to follow up, got the job. Bang. You were just, oh, actually, I know. I, Pabs was almost my intern. I was almost yeah. Jake's. He was the first person I ever spoke to and from PMT. our store. And P- I was never PMT. It was I applied for PMT, but then I think what well, what was the story like? Dan came over and asked about me, and then yeah. you guys were like, "I think we're taking him." Yeah, yeah. So you- I could have been to Foreplay and yeah. PMT before I got to KFC Radio because Frankie, like you knew someone on the island with like between Frankie, Frankie. and Frankie sent your website. Yeah, it was yeah. between. You guys call the island or Long Island? The I, island. That's the first time I've ever called it the island. Oh, really? We can call it Strong Island. Yeah. Long Island. Strong Island? Sometimes we call it Strong Island. I don't know. Danny Green started that a while back. You don't know who Danny Green is. Continue. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was between uh, Pavs and Garrett. and oh, that's right. They chose yeah, Garrett. We chose Sorry. Garrett. <laughs> but get, both, you, both of you guys are full-time employees. So yeah, like, it worked out. It's cool. It worked out. But like, I remember when we went with Garrett, because Nick and I, I went through like 800 applications. Yeah, and then same Nick, with Nick and I. Yeah, Nick was like, this was before Nick like went through all of them, because it was like Memorial Day weekend, whenever yeah. like you guys were interns. And I was like, dude, this kid Pavs is like, he's it. He's like very good. He's very talented. He's him. Garrett, he's him. <laughs> Garrett was just like a fucking, I mean, he's a fucking he's a savage, f- Garrett, like if there was one person, I'd be like, he got the job instead of me. And I saw it was Garrett. I'd be like, I get it. Yeah, I yeah, get yeah. It. Garrett's fucking Garrett's elite. like a workhorse. He's, yeah, he's elite. He's dude, elite. he so didn't, real. he used to, he didn't like leave. So he like yeah. lives in like Queens and shit when he was our, our intern. Mm. And yeah. he would just stay here until like 2 a.m. And just like take the train. Because he had like nothing to do. Yeah. That's yeah. hilarious. That's right. I remember I would like see him. I'd be editing. I'd ask him, yeah. like, "Wait, why are you here so late?" And he'd be like, eh, "I just don't really have any <laughs> anywhere else to go." <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, wait. But then, and then we. I remember seeing your application. I think I was like, I think I was like, "This kid looks pretty good." Like, I think I passed your application along. I my first day reasons. when I came in, I was so nervous, and like yeah. my my hand sweat when I'm nervous. Yeah. And I remember I'm walking to the office and I like walk right past the office on purpose because I was like, I have to go like, I have to clean off my hands before I shake everybody's really? hands. Really? And I, and I pull out a water bottle and I start like washing my hands in the middle of the street and you walk right by me and you drop your bag while you're, I don't think I've ever told you, you, never told me you dropped your bag while you were like turning the corner. So, like, I, th- I think that's that girl that's on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> really? all the anything to be worried about. <laughs> and then I walk up like five minutes later and like, it was, you know, my hands are clean by that point. But yeah, it was like, that was my first, I was like, I think that's Jackie. And then I walked upstairs confirmation. You don't remember seeing me wash my hands, but like, no, I, I don't remember that at all. Bag. Yeah. That's so funny. I remember your picture on your application made you look like such a little nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's still my LinkedIn for <laughs> yeah, and then like you walked in, I was like, oh well, that's not fun. This kid doesn't look that nerdy. <laughs> but um, but I was expecting to have like a little bitch yeah. working for me, and, and he's a little sassy instead. I'm older than Jackie. Yeah, he is. Yeah. 
by how much? Uh, three months. Three months. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Um, You're 23. 23. Yeah. Jesus. October. Yeah. 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 You're 23. 23. You both are 23. Yeah. yeah. We. That's so nice Damn. to hear the reaction. I feel like I'm I the do, oldest person like, in the world. Yes, I do too. Then I'm 27, and I feel like. Dude, now I, I can't drink anymore. You said you did a uh, sober, I mean, a uh, dry January, right? <laughs> I did 13 right? days. You did 13 days. I did 13 days. days. Oh, Dude, I'm I was, proud of that 13 no, that's days. Good. That's, no, that's honestly hard. That's I was walking years. home from like the office. Yeah. And I was just passing by like people drinking. Yeah. And I was just like, what the fuck am I? Who am I trying to prove to? Yeah. yeah. And I texted Bob and Noah and I said, let's go to a cigar bar. Went to a cigar bar, downed two martinis, yeah. dry gin, uh, and a Peroni. And yeah. we started talking to the guys next to us. Our bill must have been like three hundred dollars because it was like a cigar bar. You buy a nice cigar. Yeah. Mm. And uh, the guys next to us were talking to them all night, and they just picked up our tab. That's awesome. <gasps> what? It was like a three hundred dollar bill. I feel like that only happens to like hot girls. Yeah. Just... No, they were like here for like a bachelor party or something like that. No wow. way. And they were just like, "Where should we go?" And we were just telling them tons of different places. They paid three hundred dollars for advice on where to go. Well, also the they, guy was you guys like, were riffing. What you guys were? Well, no, we were we were just kind of like going yeah. back and forth. Oh, okay, gotcha. yeah, just like you know. Guy stuff, smoke a cigar. I wouldn't get it. I, I do that get all it. the time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Do no. Have you ever smoked a cigar? I've smoked a cigar, but not cool. Not in a cool way. Yeah, I don't really see yeah. you doing that in a cool way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hi again. Sorry. This part is also kind of jumpy because somebody had walked in. It was Zach, if you guys remember him. Um, Zach had walked in and like interrupted us. Um, and so it jumps back in. You can hear Zach's like roasting us for how many like different times we tried to restart the podcast. Um, so. Uh, that's kind of what we're jumping back into. Okay, thank you for bearing with me. This for an hour before. Yeah, well, because we gotta warm up. Us. We gotta warm Stop up. Ex- we had yeah. to get a we're not up tenured. We're not tenured tenures. That was a terrible. We're gonna cut that. We do that. One more. One more. Okay. We're, yeah. just, not, we're just gonna cut off. <laughs> I'm so bad at cutting cameras. It's crazy. <laughs> <I'm> so <good. laughs> how you never? How are you a senior producer who's yeah. been here for six years? You don't know how to cut cameras. It's one button. Can Zach you, can did you, it when he was. Can you shoot a golf player. course? What? Can you shoot on a golf course? Probably not. Why? Because I'm a woman. Could. I probably could. Yeah, well, that's true. not as good as Jake. Can obviously. I come like on a here. golfing trip? Yeah, for sure. Really? Yeah. Hannah Cook is like honestly doing pretty well with Amateur Hour. Like, you could probably do some stuff with her. Because you have yeah. plenty of free. Time. I think Hannah should you teach know what you I how realized? to golf. Now that Hannah's done with advisors, that means another fucking hot girl is gonna come on the bar stool, mm-hmm. and there's gonna be more competition, and oh. there's gonna be more lists. And I'm just gonna never get on those lists. Oh, I actually have one question about that. <laughs> oh my God, why? Because you to- you tossed up like that fucking thotty pick. Have you brushing your teeth? Yes, 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 yes. Thotty pick, thotty <laughs> yeah. pick, thotty pick. So, full disclosure, I listen to KFC Radio, like, here and there. Like, I used to listen to KFC Radio, like, back in the big cat days. Like, okay. 2012, 2011, like, back in the day. Okay, rude that now, you don't listen to it. Well, now, because it's just, like, Good I job. work here now, it's whatever. <laughs> yeah. You just, like, woke up and you're like, all right, here's my tits, Twitter. Yeah, well, um, I just figured, it, I was actually having thoughts the time before. I was like, it's a shame that I'm keeping this a secret. Mm-hmm. And then I saw an opportunity, and I said, bingo, bongo, showing the bongos. I don't know why I just said that, but I said, here's my time to shine. And I posted it, and that got me the most Twitter followers and Instagram followers I've ever gotten. So I'm going to do it again at some point because I'm reaching a lull with my followers. Everyone toss uh, alerts on. Alerts on Twitter. Twitter notifications. God, should I just pop one on me? If this gets how many views? Yeah. Well, Jackie will dump him out. Will I'll dump well, don't so dump him out. Be, be respectful. Views? Do this something tasteful. This is going to be YouTube exclusive. If this gets share, like, yeah, I guess you got to share it with people. Just yeah. say how many likes yeah. do you usually get on YouTube? I don't, for, like, I don't ever, like, duplicate. Let's now say, it's just let's say like, if it gets thirty five thousand views. I feel like that's like a well, successful I YouTube. I, I don't want to actually do. I'm going to come if it gets, about something. Uh, what should we do here? If if this gets, if this gets two hundred YouTube comments. I'll dump him out. She'll dump him out. In his respect. Well, yeah. She'll dump him out respect. Define dump him out. Because. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to yeah. fully dump him out. Yeah. No, but yeah. I. You should throw the trash. But I also like, they're getting uneven. I don't think I want to. Do they ever tell you to talk into the microphone? Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah. Can you not really hear me? No, you can't. It's, it's just unbelievable. like. Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. I, I always got to put it like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm not great at that. That's good. That's it's good. good. Uh, again, well, I'm not tenured. Tenured, tenured. Not tenured, tenured. Nice. I have another topic. I think that you'd be really good at. Um, Zach, you can stay for this. Zach, I wanted. You just pop I was thinking about this here? the other day. Let's Zach. do another. You guys want to do another pull of whiskey? We'll do another pull yeah. of whiskey. Yeah. yeah. Break this up. 
Do you hear buzzing? No. Okay, okay cool. good. Okay. Uh, the only thing that's buzzing in here is the fucking, is the riff. Uh, <laughs> yes! The only thing see, buzzing in here is the fucking. He's a hype man, and we need you to be is more the, Is the whistle pig, you know? Exactly. I also, like, haven't eaten Buzz. a ton today, so those two pulls got me fucking. I've not eaten at all today, and dude, I'm, I'm ready to riff. Oh, you guys yeah. are sick. I'm about I, to I, get on the train, maybe fucking <laughs> hit my, hit my weed. <laughs> Go home and get dinner with my girlfriend's grandma fucking zooted. <laughs> <laughs> That's all staying in. Yeah. That's, That's all staying, staying in. in. For those that don't know, we just took a little break to, to take another shot of This is our version of Amsterdam. Thing. This is our version. <laughs> Should we go on a bender? Should we go on a New York, a new Amsterdam bender? Wait, first of all, new Amsterdam. New, new Amsterdam was New York City. Yeah. New Amsterdam. They're on a bender. Did I just ruin it? Sorry. I don't want to do That's the bender right. anymore. Yeah. I don't want to. Do I'll, the I'll turn with you fast. Yeah, I was just, I just. No, I won't. This I is won't why. Do this in, is why they. Do I won't the do that anymore. You. I want back on on the bender. Okay, we're gonna do a bender starting tomorrow. We're gonna do what they're doing in Amsterdam, except in New York City. Amsterdam. <laughs> back to riffing. Okay. 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 Back okay, to okay. riffing. Go with your topic. <laughs> this is terrific. This is. This could be a huge <laughs> miss. Um, I was looking at buildings in New York City mm-hmm. as I usually do. Um, what do you mean you look at buildings? I, I just, I love buildings. Love architect, mm-hmm. architect, architecture. I love looking at them, looking how they're different, how they're bigger, smaller. You dude, know, the stuff like gargoyles that. always freak me out. The gargoyles on the Chrysler building? Dude, just Fuck in general. Him. Dude, sometimes I'll walk around the city and I'm like, who made this? Yeah. Also, you ever walk around the city and just like think like, there's fucking secret meetings and secret shit. Oh, I think about it all the time. Like the AT&T building? Dude. You've, you've read about that? Dude, no. I, it's more so like, like uh, I went to Alabama and like there was like certain like you don't strike me as Alabama at all. You don't strike me as USC at all. It, I, I do. I look like South Carolina. You went to South Carolina. Yeah. No. Really. I would never have guessed yeah. That. I could see like Carolina. some. But like oh, I, I don't know. Like the buildings are very old and there's like old tunnels and like just like places you can like go and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And in New York, I've been to enough like places mm-hmm. where I where like you like you go into a place and you like go somewhere and you like go down a set of stairs and then like mm-hmm. you end up somewhere else you know like crazy shit every building i see i'm like schizophrenic i'm just like dude that could be a fucking sex dungeon down there really? and it's just like a seven i don't think about that at I all i don't think about that that much it, i do think about like there's so much that we don't know what's going on there's a ton of secret societies and in if, New York City it's gonna sure. happen yeah. it's gonna be in new york yeah i also think about like in new york like if you just look at stuff you're like that doesn't make sense like there's certain signs and yeah. everything just seems like everyone just seems like an npc everything just seems there like are a ton of npcs yeah. in new york city and it's like what are you actually go like are you actually going through your own life in your own world in your own head we're like, are you? You're big on this, and I'm, I don't. Get I know. On the I'm same sorry, and I'm not going to get into. I'm. It. I'm a real world guy. Like, you're we're real really world guy. fucking here, and you're. You. I'm, claim and I'm that not we're, actually. I'm world. not even trying to go into the simulation. I know. I know, but I will debate <laughs> this with you right now. Like, you want to debate this? I I'm on Jackie's side, debate. so I don't know if you want to. Yeah, I what? knew that you would be. Too. Dude, sometimes I wake up, or like I have a cup of coffee, or so, there's a lot of times where I'm laying in bed and I'm going to sleep. My girlfriend's passed out next to me, and it's just like pitch black, and I'm just like. We're really just fucking doing this, dude. Yeah. So you're saying it's real? No, but I'm like, no. what's going on, man? Yes, dude. It, I, it's, I wish I felt this way, but my I sister don't. always says this, like, like she wants to start a religion, just like something's up. The something's up something's religion. Something's up religion. And it's like we don't know what it is, but there, there's something up. There is something. I, I mean, and it, what is it though? But it's like it's not just like I don't even know if I can just say it's like oh, just evolution and like which I do believe that, but I think that just there's something else up, like. There's, there's got to be something controlling it, or what it is is it's hypersensitivity. So it's like, for like our generation, like being like younger, like we've been in front of computers and screens like our entire lives, and mm. especially being in New York, everything is just bang, 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 yeah. bang. Yeah, a ton of stimulation. Tons here. of stimulation. Yeah. So it's just like, I believe it's like hypersensitivity, where it's just like you're looking at a screen forever, and then you just look up and you just get hit with like a dose of reality, and you're like, fuck, we're doing this. Yeah, like, I never fuck, get This is hit real with life. That. I'm always when did you start trance. smoking weed? I stopped smoking weed a while ago. When did you start smoking? Weed? You, like I always 13. say this. You seem like you'd be so a, like yeah big, yeah like thirteen. I started smoking weed. I stopped about a year and a half ago, and like I probably smoked for every single day for a couple years there, and then I stopped, and I was like I started hating it. I don't know why, but like I probably yeah. I but I've never felt that like I don't know if this is real or not vibe. Okay. Okay. Talk about your buildings. The buildings. Back if, to it. If if we had to assign. A political party for every single for the main popular buildings in New York City. Like, what does like, based off their characteristics, 
what vibe does every build like for me i know for a fact that the chrysler building like is a maga bro i know for a fact and the empire state building gives me big time like democrat vibes i get what you mean you know? only when you put them in comparison like like those like, two, I think those are the main ones. Empire built state building. I definitely can see yeah. being a Democrat. I don't know that much about. I'm like not big into politics, and I don't really know that much about. Neither buildings. am I, but it's just like not as I much was, as you seem to be like looking at buildings all the time. I when I, I just like I looked at both of them, and I was like, those two, like they would be fire in like a political debate. I feel like they would really go after okay. each other. Do you see this? No, <laughs> maybe <laughs> I see buildings no. when I look at buildings. <laughs> When I look at buildings, I just think like, <laughs> I just think about uh, going back to what we're saying. Like, there's so many fucking people in that building. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love looking at buildings and looking up into the windows and seeing like their, you like, know, what, the lives going on. You know what I do, and I get yelled at a lot from this, like by my friends and people, mm-hmm. is like when we're like walking by apartments. Like, I love looking at apartments, like apartments. Yeah. Like, if your Same. windows are open, Same. yeah, people like, watching. F- dude, Feidelberg, we went to shoot like a mm-hmm. shoot something at his apartment. Mm-hmm. He just doesn't have. Blinds. Yeah, no. He he. If he, he said, walks around naked, everybody like you could literally see. You can yeah. you from like the street. He's right not like he, from the street. You can just yeah. see in his apartment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I the the there's like weird like what I'm talking about like weird like NPC stuff is like there's one person across from me who has a rock climbing wall in their apartment, which like a New York apartment is you know so this place? small. No, there's a there's an apartment I used to like I, when I go for runs from my uh, my neighborhood. This guy has a, a full blown squat rack in his apartment oh, that's next to a 70 inch TV where oh, he only plays Call of Duty. Because really? like, I walk by it, like, it's like next to my coffee shop, and I walk by it to get home. Yeah. And like yeah. in the morning, and it, dude, it's like a full, it's like a full setup. You like he can be do doing deadlifts all that and everything. In New York that's ridiculous. In my, in my New York City apartment, it's probably about the size of this room right now, and I have five TVs. Do you still have my like? Because I gave you. Let, wait, I actually have to talk about this right now. <laughs> what? I actually, for a while there, was pretty mad at Jake Bass. Yeah, I was. He knows what he did. Well, this goes back to Garrett. He knows <laughs> this goes what back he did. to Garrett too. It, does he go back to Garrett? I yeah, don't because know. he was supposed to take all the shit. Okay, so Jake <laughs> sold me this fucking bed frame in this bed, and it was. I was like, sure, like you know, this guy helped me get a job here. I need a bed. Whatever, done deal. Whatever yeah. he says. It Quick is. move across Quick the street. Quick move across the street. Like it all sounds good. Yeah. Like these guys just helped me out. Jake fucking screwed me. This bed was broke within two weeks. I know the bed what? was broken. The bed broke. Like like yeah, it was already broken. I realized that I was like, I'm gonna fucking whatever. Eat the bullet. This guy Did helped you me. Did you mean to? He knew what he was first doing. First of all, it's bite the bullet. No, I didn't. I, <laughs> I knew that the I knew that the bed frame was like yeah. fucked up, not the actual mattress itself. Dude, it was it was cooked in a week. Really? I had to get a whole new bed. He paid me for the bed. I feel and bad. And guess what? I paid less money for the new bed than I did for Jake. Really? <laughs> yeah. But didn't you get I gave you like you a desk. He gave me he gave no you, you gave me you gave me a rolly chair, which is still rocking. You okay. seem like somebody that'd be easy to swindle, so I don't blame Jake. My my roommates ha- all have bigger rooms than me. Yeah. And they just like offered me to pay less money and I was just like, nah, it's cool, bro. Like I'll pay That's the same so amount. I'm like, kidding? I'm a fuck I, I'm the least financially responsible not responsible because I don't spend money on crazy things. I'm just not a savvy businessman. No, same if I like split the, like if I like put my card down for the bill, I just won't Venmo request anybody because I'm just like I've never oh. Venmo request anybody my whole. Life. I'm just oh. like it's it's not unless worth it's for it. like an extreme amount of money. Unless I it's feel for, like, like rent such or a narc doing it. Yeah, yeah. talk unless- about being a Jew. I'm Jewish. Oh, I can see Jake. Dude, Jake's. <laughs> if it's ten dollars, dude. No, it's not ten dollars, dude. You ask anyone at this company who's ever gone out with me. I put my credit card down for everything. You get those points. You will wake up the next morning. Yeah. You will oh, wake up really? the next morning with the Venmo request for seventy eight, seventy three, twenty eight. Really? Yeah. I go down to the penny to make yeah. sure people know I'm not fucking. Them. Wait, th- this is that's this what is good. I, that's good. That's what I should be doing. Yeah. I think if you Venmo request anybody that is your friend or even a stranger, yeah. For less than forty dollars, you're an asshole. I, I think it feels it feels so narky to Venmo request for anything under forty dollars. Yeah, I can't do if you're my friend and you and you see me put down the card, mm. you're getting it for free. Exactly. It's rather you're my boy or or like a girl a friend of mine. Yeah. And it's like I got you. Yeah. Next time, I hope you remember this. If not, whatever. Like we're friends. Or you're a stranger where it's like I feel too weird asking you for money. Yeah. Yes. If it's. 50 75 100 yeah i'm not fucking loaded i need that money but, but if i've even done it 
I've even done it too. For yeah. for like, I'll let you slide with that. Is so crazy, <laughs> dude. Forty dollars is a full meal. Uh, I know, know. it's a two full meal. No, like, uh, no, we have a we have a thing with like our friend group where it's like, all right, like I got this round of beers, get the next round of beers at like the next bar. Mm. Dude, forty dollars is a fucking meal. I know. I I'm I would be so much rich, richer. If I Venmo requested, if I Venmo people. requested the people that I needed yeah. Venmo request, but I just don't do it because I can't, I don't know it just. Feels but is it so... like like I'll be honest, I have lost friendships over Venmo requests. If somebody's ever requested me for five, like I get it, it's not the same with other people. Other people have balls on them and can like Venmo yeah. request people. But if anybody has ever Venmo requested me for under five dollars, that's like, ridiculous. You're not my friend anymore. No, you don't oh got me. God. You're not do my you fucking Venmo friend. No, five dollars. No, uh, if it's uh, no, the it's, max. The max is like like twenty bucks. Like. Like if I go out and like it's like drinks and we're at a bar and mm. I know for a fact like I picked up one person's beer. Yeah. I'm going to cover that. Yeah. yeah. $40 is an outrageous amount of money to leave on the table. I'm big on just like I got this one you get me next time. Exactly. $40 do- $40 worth of what? Dude, $40 is like four or five drinks. Yeah. I know, I know. First of all, forty dollars is not four or five. Forty-five dollars is, is, like, is like that's th- drink. two and a half drinks. Well, oh, it depends on like what no, you're drinking. Yeah, like if you're if you're drinking beer, yeah, that's like five beer, or six yeah. beers. Yeah. I guess it's different with like yeah. tequila sodas. Or yeah, whatever. if you're partying with a bunch of sluts, that's two drinks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like when you're a slut, it's like two yeah. drinks. <laughs> but like for example, like I go to, I'm not gonna say that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but what do you guys? Okay, what do you guys think about um, people who remind you? If I you've reminded ever reminded me for a Venmo request, Go every single dick. dollar that I've ever owed someone, it's in the back of my brain. It's somewhere. Yeah. It's rather I don't have it right now and I'm going to have it in a couple of days or it's like I just didn't want to fucking pay you that five, ten dollars, bro. Like eat it. If you've ever reminded me about a Venmo request, you're not my friend anymore. Yeah, I agree. If if uh, sometimes I'll just like it will slip my mind. But I do not appreciate the reminder. The reminder is like, dude, I was going to give you this $10. If you ever request But now I'm going to make your life fucking hell instead. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm $5 is ridiculous. I remember you telling me about like yeah. the time and you can't you can't be doing that. Wait, so someone requested me $5, right? Yeah. Oh my God. I, I, I don't even know their name anymore because they're not my friend. Yeah. I Venmo requested somebody the other week, and they didn't re- they didn't give me the money in like 10, 15 days. Yeah. So I contacted their friend, and they were like, oh, they're in rehab. Oh okay. no! <laughs> valid reason to not re- to not pay your Venmo. Wait, and I was like, I was like, say that I was like, you can still have your phone in rehab. <laughs> <laughs> How much did rehab cost? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you apparently got it. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> Dude, well, uh, how is cutting cameras on that one? Was was that a, like? I think it's first, good. I don't. I'm not cutting to my camera because because it's four. Oh yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dude, ah. Oh, Put okay. your fucking camera on. I can put I mean, your mug on that. This thing. is the first put your, time. Put your mug, on, your that. mug on that. <laughs> Fifty-two minutes in, this is the first time anyone's seeing me. What? Yeah. What? I've just been doing. You've been on us the whole time. Yeah. You've been talking this whole time. Yeah, I've just been cutting to you guys. <sighs> I think I do this shit when I cut cameras. Because <laughs> that's another thing. It's also really bad. Like uh, people on YouTube can look at. Like I have, dude. I have this. I never have a mustache. Yeah, it looks I, good though. I know. I do. I look like a fucking hipster pedophile. Yeah. You I look like I look like I ride a I I ride a unicycle around the city. You look like Yellowstone. I would like to do uh, the blonde. The blonde mustache looks Yellowstone. I would like to do uh, a fashion pod with me, you, and fights. Just one rip. I love one day me, you, and fights. Just riff about fucking fashion. I love Johns. I'm just broke as shit. I, I'm not broke as shit, but I'm. If too I had Jewish. money, I'd be the best dressed man in Manhattan. No, once I know it, for once a fact. I get money, it's over for you, fucking us. I don't know if Girls, you got it like different. that. I know, I no, know. every girl looks the same, fucking way. There's only like five percent of male society that knows how to dress, and like two percent of that has the money to dress that way. Yeah, and it's like if you gave the guys like. Jake and I. It is so money. easy for you guys to dress well, though. I no, don't really want to hear it. Um, what shoe? Give me the top five shoes in your closet right now. Just shoes. No, I bet like, you I could I guess them. I don't have like good shoes at all. Like I'm definitely not a shoes person. But I, like I again, like, I'm not a shoes with person girls, Are you kidding me? There's so much to keep up with with the fashion, and it is so expensive. Because also, it's like there's so much to keep up with skincare and beauty products and makeup and all that stuff. So it's like I, I, can't I, even I that you're looking at a Kiehl's baby over here. I spent a lot of money on skincare. No, are you kidding me? I I just bought Drunk Elephant last night. I bought Drunk Elephant last night. Fine. Drunk outfit, fine. Kiehl's is yeah. like the least expensive. I don't want to hear shit about Kiehl's. Kiehl's is the least expensive. You guys aren't buying Kiehl's makeup. is a very manly thing to buy, though. It's like a very, like, bro yeah. skincare. Yeah, that is a Not very gonna bro lie. skincare. But I've, it's like, I don't want to hear you guys. But we should like, all be buying fashion. wood. We should all be oh, buying shit. wood. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. so we got to cut all of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wood. 
What? Just say wood, so and I'll cut in wood. wood every time you said drunk elephant and kills. Wood, 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 wood. I was gonna say give some more inflections. Wood, 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 wood. wood. Okay, give, give some wood. Wood. Give some wood. <laughs> Hell yeah, Jackie. <laughs> this is gonna be the worst edit ever, <laughs> Jackie. Okay. okay, okay. I'm honestly probably not gonna edit. Okay, that we gotta we gotta wrap this up. Okay. Oh. Any last words? Do you think this will ever see the light of day? I think that Jackie can cut together like a good 35 minutes. We've been going yeah. for 57 minutes. Yeah. Make I, sure you keep in the N-word that you I said. I never fucking said that. That was crazy. That was wild. You want to you wanna advertise anything? We can advertise. Um, Listen to the 4Play podcast presented by Barstool podcast, Sports right every Tuesdays and Thursdays. Follow at JNix on Instagram. Maybe I'll dump them out. <laughs> If uh, well, there's actually a new thing to Jackie dumping him out, if Jackie gets to forty thousand followers and I get to ten thousand followers, sorry, I already have 40, can I be? 000. I have 40. Okay, can I get some followers? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If I get to ten thousand followers in the next month, Jackie's gonna make an OnlyFans. Wait, no, I'm not going to. Absolutely not. Jackie's going to. gonna respectfully dump him out. If no, I get 5, I'm, I'm nothing. No offense, I I don't care about your following. And I I'm not gonna a, do anything. I know, I know, I don't care about you enough as a friend to do that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, if you guys give me 50 fo- 50k followers, and Pav gets sad, nope. Real quick, Pavs, started. if if she started OnlyFans, would you look at it? I swear wow. to God, you you should. I would, I would, I would definitely not be able to look at it and then like not tell her, and she would fucking kill me. So kill you. no, I'm you know, absolutely kill yeah, you. it's a good question. Um, I would never make an OnlyFans. So that's she would, she would never speak to me again, and I would, I would have the moral. You also wouldn't do that. I also wouldn't do that. Yeah. Um, so no, I would not be able to. And I'm never gonna make an OnlyFans. Unless Pat Maybe. gets a 10,000 followers. No, I'm not doing that. All right. Uh, peace out, Girl Scouts. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Oh, wait, Knuckleheads. Knuckleheads, <laughs> yeah. Subscribe to KFC Radio on YouTube to get all the video content. Uh, subscribe, comment, like, and make sure you turn on the bell notifications so you know whenever new video content drops. I want to say something, but the video has to be passed. That's it.